What's going on YouTube? So I wanted to show you this uh, metal uh, de-rusting that I, I'm doing. I bought all this metal from a local metal supply place. It's a trailer uh, steel tube and you can see I got it. It's about $800 worth of metal or steel uh, that I bought for 200 bucks on a pallet. Anyways, you can see that it's got rust. It was left out in the yard. And uh, anyway, so I picked it up and uh, I wanted to show you guys how to remove rust safely. I mean, there's a lot of different ways, but this is the easiest, I think. So what I've got over here is a uh, muritic acid bath. So this is basically pool acid that um, you can get from the hardware store. It's about uh, 10 bucks a box for two gallons. So I got six gallons here. So basically I've got the metal sitting in the muritic acid bath. This is about six gallons. So I basically just used two of the steel um, uh, pieces here to make kind of a well. And then I've got some bricks on both ends. So this has been sitting for about 30 minutes. And literally you could see the acid uh, at, uh, removing the um, rust. It actually even flakes off, off on the side as gravity pulls the acid down. It's kind of interesting. So I've got 30 minutes on it right now. But what I'm doing is, is making a car trailer. This is an old boat trailer that I had that I hacked up, as you can see. Uh, basically, it had um, the uh, curved steel. Uh, you can see up ahead there. Uh, but anyway, so, and this is kind of the configuration. I bought a new tongue for it, but this is basically what I'm doing here. So just kind of give you a quick rundown of why, why I'm doing this. But one of the things I want to mention real quickly is that when you're working with acid, of course, uh, you definitely need to have a way to be, be safe, rubber gloves, whatnot. Um, so right here, I've got a bucket of uh, baking soda, probably about a quarter cup quarter box of baking soda and about uh, two gallons of water so that if I get any acid on anything I can quickly neutralize it um, so and then as well what I'm going to do is wash the steel down after you're done with the acid bath it's really important that you neutralize the acid off the steel so I'm just taking sponge it down uh, with the water there the baking soda and water to neutralize it because it'll help prevent the rust from uh, redeveloping Everybody knows that when you use muritic acid, it causes things to rust again. So, and that's because you got to neutralize it. And then you can add a protecting jelly. Uh, let's see, I did these out here. These are already done, but ah, oh, darn it if I didn't have the bottle of stuff. But you can basically paint this stuff on and what it does is it neutralizes the metal. But I, I realized that these two pieces that I did didn't get neutralized on the inside. So that's why I wanted to soak these, the other pieces in, in uh, muriatic acid to also clean the inside of the uh, steel and then um, I'll weld it so there's a protective coating on this right now you can kind of see it was just a water and you can buy it whatever I forget the name of it but it's um, basically a coating coating product and it reduces or neutralizes any rust as well but the problem with that is that if you go to weld you got to clean it off so <laughs> I guess I'll weld first and then I'll put the, the product on. Dang it, I wish I had the bottle. I, uh, see, I'm unprepared. Anyhow, um, so I just wanted to basically show you uh, my method on what I'm doing. You guys can come up with your own. I didn't dilute this. I just went straight. I didn't want to mess around with any dilution. So again, I've got 30, maybe about 35 minutes now. And what I'll do is uh, with the rubber gloves, I'll just come and grab it, shove the dowel underneath it, let it drain, and then bring uh, lift this side up and then put this dowel underneath the steel and let it drain and then uh, I'll take it over here just wash it out and then and then I'll, I'll rub it down with the um, baking soda and water very important that you neutralize your acid all right good luck guys